This is In the Paint, courtside highlights of Arizona Junior College Hoops. The first-ranked Phoenix College Bears have won five straight games and hope to continue that streak at home against the Mesa Community College Thunderbirds. Kavion Moore gets things going for the Bears with an easy drive to the hoop. But Adonis Arms was a big problem early on. With a defender in his face, he hits one from long range. Later, Arms is left wide open. Got it. On the other end, Riley Goulet is left wide open and hits a three of his own. PC goes on a nice little run as Reese Plummer rises to the occasion to score. Austin Denham started going off for Mesa. This is the last guy you want to get going. Not one, not two, not three, but four three-point baskets for him. Call him Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Denham again, reservations for three, please, and the Thunderbirds lead 46 to 35 at halftime. Mesa carried their momentum into the second half as No Annaber gets the one-handed lay-in to go. Rashad Goolsby fighting to keep the Bears alive as he hits his defender with the spin move to score. MCC on the inbound, and guess who's left wide open? Arms, 4-3, bang. He had five three-pointers on the night and 21 points. PC start to chip away at the deficit a bit as Davis Wade knocks down two in a row from downtown. But the Thunderbirds played excellent down the stretch, controlling the tempo, passing the ball well, and securing the win 89 to 69. For In the Paint, I'm Ashley Neville, MCTV Sports. Every time I hear the alarm bell go off in school, I think it's an air raid. A lot of houses in our neighborhood have been destroyed. I like to close my ears and sing songs whenever the bombs come close. I'm worried our new neighbors won't like us. But I know it's all going to be worth it. I just want my family to be safe. But these are not my these words. These are not my words. These are not my words. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Having already qualified for the playoffs, Chandler Gilbert was looking to gain some momentum as they took on Scottsdale. Derek Dantzler Fulner got it going early for the Coyotes. Strong drive to the hoop here for two. Then a nice running one-hander to put Chandler Gilbert up early 6-5. Artichokes Benacaro, sophomore point guard, lets it fly and hits from downtown. Scottsdale with the lead, 10-8. But then the Coyotes worked it in low to Big Mo Walton. This bucket cut Scottsdale's lead to three. Chandler Gilbert takes the lead as David Powell hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Three-pointer puts the Coyotes up by nine. But Isaiah Issa puts up a beautiful stroke, great-looking jumper for three. And going into the locker rooms, Chandler led it 36-30. Early on in the second half, Scottsdale pulled close. Esau with a nice baseline pass to Marcus Jarrett for the basket. Jarrett comes right back with a strong drive to the hoop, changes hands and gets the roll. Scottsdale down by just six. Esau gets Scottsdale to within one with this spectacular move in the lane for the hoop. Jesse Frost Dixon out of Plainfield, New Jersey, keeps the game close with this jumper. For the Coyotes, Kendrick Williams gets by Frost Dixon on this drive and lays it off the glass. Chandler Gilbert up by three. Then Williams gets the rebound off a missed shot and finishes it off with a nice move towards the hoop. Chandler Gilbert wins it 77-71, and now the Coyotes are gearing up for playoff action. For In the Paint, I'm Drew Wathie, MCTV Sports.